Okay, so lately Dr. Michio Kaku has been hosting a lot of these Ask Me Anything open to anyone on the internet questions and answers forums. Two weeks ago he did one on Facebook, and tomorrow, Monday, April 7th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, he's doing another one on iTunes. The only problem is, two weeks ago on Facebook, he only picked the most softball questions to answer. Extremely, extremely disappointing. Many of his followers and fans have berated him over this, calling him a sellout and a physics phony, among other things. Now, I like Michio Kaku. I've read a few of his books, and I particularly liked his scientific approach to the idea of extraterrestrial intelligence and his description of the Kardashev scale for intelligent civilizations of type 1, 2, and 3, and how we rank zero on this scale because our science and technology is so primitive and unadvanced. But I lost a lot of faith in Michio Kaku two weeks ago when several of the most popular questions posed to him, including one on string theory and my question to him about the nature of scientific revolutions and what is currently happening in the field of cold fusion, despite these questions receiving more thumbs up than any other question on the list, they went completely ignored. Now part of the problem is that these are very difficult questions to answer without first doing a considerable amount of research and homework. Normally in science it's completely acceptable to say things like, I really don't know but I will look it up, or I am not going to look up this particular subject because of X, Y, and Z. But simply flat out ignoring the most popular voted questions on the list is just unacceptable. He had to have seen these questions and consciously made a choice to skip over them and ignore them. I am encouraging everyone out there to flood him with more of these hardball questions, even if they need to be repeated over and over by everyone. Here was my question. Last week I attended the 2014 MIT Colloquium on Cold Fusion, aka Lattice Assisted Nuclear Reactions, here in Cambridge, Boston. I was surprised to see that this field of research is not dead after 25 years, and in fact appears to be on the verge of a major scientific breakthrough in our understanding of the physics within resonant crystal lattice structures, with massive implications on the future of energy. It should be apparent to any thinking person who has actually taken the time to read the papers and see what's happening that old hat claims like mismeasurement of heat or contamination of sampling simply do not hold any relevance anymore with the weight of evidence accumulated by this very small yet dedicated global scientific research community. I am surprised that the evidence they have accumulated is still being ignored by mainstream science, and I was wondering if you could perhaps make a comment about this matter. Specifically, I'd like you to comment on the nature of scientific revolutions and how the mainstream scientific community has historically shown resistance and arrogance in the face of new ideas and potential breakthroughs. Which, by the way, I have an excellent summary on cold fusion evidence on my website, alienscientist.com, links in the description below, provided as always. I'm sure he's aware of all the dumb statements that have been made by scientists over the years and doesn't want to have his name next to some quotation in a similar hall of shame for scientists who are famously wrong. But I also can't help but point out how awesome it would be if Kaku took some time to look into the real physics here, check out some of the more recent experiments and papers on cold fusion, try your own experiments with some of the more modern detailed recipes for how to get guaranteed success with cold fusion, and test it for yourself. I can't help but think of the opportunities being wasted here by someone like Dr. Kaku. He could firmly cement his place in scientific history by using his influence and credibility to trigger the next scientific or cultural revolution by getting people to start looking into important physics that they would have otherwise been ignoring out of ignorance and stupidity. Right now, Justin Bieber and Katy Perry are the two most followed people on Twitter. As sad as that is with the statement it makes about our society and who we idolize and view as role models, understand that in 100 years or 200 years, no one's going to remember either of them. Just like 30 years later, the new generation hardly cares who David Cassidy was, if they even know that name at all. Michio Kaku is currently considered one of the greatest modern rock stars of science. But just like the music industry being the most popular doesn't necessarily make you the most epic or legendary of all time. Not everyone can be a John Lennon. To do that, it takes a true revolutionary. And dodging tough questions and only answering softballs is not revolutionary. By ignoring the hard questions, you save yourself from some immediate scrutiny and the chance of being wrong and getting called out, but you also give up the opportunity to explore new ideas, including potential scientific breakthroughs. 
As the go-to guy for physics questions, your inaction or inability to make accurate scientific assessments of controversial physics subjects actually holds back and prevents new paradigm shifts from happening in physics, the academic, scientific community, and society. Because obviously, if you're not talking about it, then it's clearly not important or real. So please consider this when you do your next AMA or when you write Physics of the Impossible Part 2. There is some serious physics here that you may have overlooked or underlooked. And if not, we could really use the influence of a guy like you to seriously change the world for the better. You are literally throwing away the chance of bringing a paradigm shift in new technology into reality, turning seawater into a fuel source with zero harmful waste products all based on hard and now after 25 years of careful research, 100% replicable science. Please do not pass up your opportunity to become legendary, to become a true scientific rock star, and not just be remembered as some guy that used to be on TV who talked about aliens and time travel. Seriously, dude, I don't know what else to say. Check my evidence. Check the links. Show me where I'm wrong. Please. At least say something about it. Don't just keep ignoring this stuff. You're losing all your credibility right now.